Well, hi everybody. From what was a quiet weekend here at the Cabot household, we got the weekend off from the workers uh, because we're pretty much at a crossroads here on the big old reno project. I'm doing this with a new camera, so we'll see how this works out. We've almost finished the outside. When we say we, I mean the uh, folks that are working on the house. This week though, is kind of like the rain delay program on Major League Baseball. You would look at the house, literally Marge says, and it would scroll at the bottom. This project is currently in a rain delay. It's the monsoon season here in Atlanta, and it rained a ton this week. So they were working, then they weren't working and they would literally wait for the shower to go by before starting up again. But again, the house is pretty much all yellow. But March says as they were packing up Friday to celebrate the end of the siding adventure here at this house and go bye-bye, they noticed they did miss one spot. I'm not sure you can even see it on this camera here, but I did fly the drone up there yesterday to get a look at the area that was missed and just one little part of the upper corner of the south side of the house. No siding, oh, so close, missed it by that much. So they'll be back to finish that up. And there's a lot of work here under the deck to do as well, because in the middle of all the rain, they laid about eight footers for the big deck project here. There's one of them, but it was obviously rainy and wet and they poured the concrete, so it took some time for it to dry. So they have not finished putting up the foundation underneath the deck yet, the permanent foundation. You can tell there's a lot of temporary foundation here as well. So that work has yet to come. Get those done, well, assuming that this all cures. So anyway, there still is like right here, a lot of wood and decking material. They still have to put some of the side rails on and everything and you can just tell look how messy this is up here it was wet and ugly and without any gutters on the roof that's one thing they have to do rain was just splashing everywhere but once again you know they're making good progress look at this stuff it's all most looking our main adventure here has been the attack of the birds here this is all going to eventually be screened in uh, but the birds just love these little nook and crannies up here to build nests and apparently it's that time of year so March has already evicted a bird, very determined bird, twice from building a nest in here. We love birds and everything, they don't get us wrong, but this will soon be fenced and screened in I should say and not a good place for a bird to set up home. And our brand new very expensive heating and air conditioning units, they're kind of gross as well. I'll have to get those cleaned up. I got a tarp, but I can't put it over there because it's so darn hot and humid. We've been running it. Got some new fixtures. And again, on this side of the house, we have the mini porch here where they have not yet put the footings in. They'll have to do that also coming up this week. All right, it looks like that's solid. This is the last window here underneath the deck that they have to put in. All the other windows have been installed and uh, they're gonna get those all shimmed in here in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, and then move the big project inside because there's still a lot to do inside. Got a delivery this week. This is a new tub that will be going in the master bathroom and they will be, we've been cleaning this out of the garage as well because they'll be working on the leak. Water leaks in from a crack right over here. And then they'll be working all this area. You can't really see it. It's where the plumbing is located. They'll be changing that from the evil copper leaking pipes to the new PEX. And I'm not sure how well you can see it, but the new PEX blue and red, red for hot, blue for cold. It's already in the upstairs connected right here. And I think every living room needs one of these, a big saw. Hopefully they'll take that when they leave. But this uh, gets the uh, priority next inside. There's the floors, waiting for the hardwood floors. New door goes in. Here's the star attraction from the inside. The new French door that was put in that leads out to the deck. It's kind of temporarily in here. We can open it, but they have to shim it in and everything. But this is quite the improvement over what was here initially. The door to window combination. Well, it's much brighter here in the master bedroom. That's because we had another window put in. That's why we now have five windows on this side of the house instead of just three. 
Uh, so this is the uh, back closet that they put in and we had a bird fly in here because they didn't have it all sealed off and visit us inside this room for a while but now they've sealed that off and the next step will be well you notice that this entrance is now much wider they're going to put a pocket door in here so they took off what was a single door this was a single hallway and that was the closet on this side that was the bathroom on this side now it's all going to be bathroom and they did come in here and put some new flooring in where there had been some water damage before so this is locked and loaded and ready to go All right, so March says this week we have plumbing and electrical coming in. They're gonna finish putting in the, the uh, accoutrements for the windows, finishing up on the back porch as well. And at some point, maybe put on some floors on the first floor, maybe, could be. Another two weeks, two months, two years. Who knows how long this will take.